which is uh, which is quite unusual. Anyway, I'm uh, my name's Mike, and I'm from I'm the Noel West poet. I grew up in South Bristol, and people are always accusing South Bristol of being a cultural desert. But believe you me, it's got its own culture. So I'd like to read to you a poem called The Waters of Our Land, and it's something I wrote by accident. I went into the Bar to Bath contest last night, and I had the wrong theme. So I wrote this poem quite by accident, and I thought, well, I'm not going to bin it, and I'll read it around a few events. And it's something I wrote about flooding on the levels that was a couple of months ago. The waters of our land. The levels are so neat with bliss, a land where only the wind will kiss, where governments always miss to spot the signs of abyss. Creatures run in the dead of night, the waters in their fright, deluge and carnage across the land where policies are second hand. Flood and tempest all around, where after there will be fracking in the ground. Nowhere there is justice to be found, my head is spinning around and around. A time of bluebirds dancing in the sun is now a journalist's clever pun. All creatures want to have fun on the levels in the sun. Okay, I'll, I'll read you my entry for the Bard of Bath contest, which was last night. I didn't win it, but um, it went off all right. It's called, the theme for the Bard of Bath contest last night was called At One with the Green World. So I had to rack my brain, because I don't, I wasn't sure if I was at one with the green world or not, to be honest with you. Right. So I have a really good think about this. So I wrote this. As I walked down a country lane, my mind is feeling very sane. Free of stress in the summer sun, with leaf on bough and grass in field, the green world is my yield. Frack and nuclear free, I want to go and see the sea, which is unspoiled and pollution free, then go home and have my tea. Acid rain goes down the drain, it reminds me that the world should refrain from putting me under this strain, as I want to be at one with the green world. Green fields, green men, and even a laying hen should be left alone to let my dog have its bone and never hear a ring from my phone when I'm in the natural world. Thanks very much. You've got time for one more. One more. Okay, right, one more. Now, I used to be a bus driver in Bristol. I worked for Bristol Army Bus for three and a half years, yeah. And I wrote this uh, poem about the buses some time ago, actually. It's called, remember, there used to be a show called On the Buses, so I wrote Off the Buses. A bare floor with dog ends and lino burns, tables with no manners and sauce dispensers without spanners, dark nights and long days full of people with strange ways, prostitutes in the dark with scarred faces, unable to do up their shoelaces, who run in long races. Radio contact is a life jacket that's as safe as a fag packet. <clears throat> Suburbs that gives a sigh of relief from the money thief whose life has no wife and is full of strife. Air pressure down, rev the engine to make the brakes work. The guy who just spoke to me is a jerk. Stupid questions and faceless people and loneliness of the night. It's 11, there may be a fight. Wait for home in a rear estate to come back tomorrow to fill my plate. I just want to lean on the garden gate and never be in this state. Thanks, Thanks very much. Now, George, the Stoke Rebellion was fought from 1965 to 1977 between the communist Stokes of the north of England and the capitalist weasels and bowls from the south of England. In 1970, a woodland poet was hung for an act of treason for publishing his poem. And this is the poem that he wrote. In fact, this book is dedicated to Mogul McFarland, the pacifist Stoke, who in September 1970 was tried and sentenced to death by an emergency military court of the Woodland Central Government Army at Rochester in Kent for publishing his poem, What Went My Merry Jew which was deemed to be an act of treason. 
Bogle McFarlane was hanged until pronounced dead by members of the 1st Battalion, 6th Airborne Regiment, Section 22, WCGA at Rochester Barracks at 7.30am on the 20th of October 1970. Hanging was abolished in the New English Democratic Woodland in 1980. May Pan go with him. What went my merry Jew? In field and furrow, land has turned brown and red with the blood of folly foot and reckless paw. Unpicked crop and harsh voices on concrete with brass buckle and the might of a rifle butt wriggle as the trench tin for the autumn sunshine which sun shines like a sundial on the rows of a once hungry and EDT scarred dead. What went my merry Jew? On fettered bough and row of hedge lie the shreds of clothing which were not for comfort or for show. The rags tell tales of mortality and bloodshed, a catwalk of carnage endured only by the masses. What went my merry Jew? Thank you.